By now, I think we've all watched the two-minute full-length Star Wars Battlefront 2 trailer seen on the EA Star Wars page. The trailer didn't show much action in the Clone Wars and it revolved around mainly showcasing once again the Galactic Civil War. In saying this, we did get a glimpse of the Clone Wars through the Darth Maul scene, and to further to add to our excitement, it seems that everything the fans have asked for has mainly been confirmed in the form of the Star Wars Battlefront 2 panel at the Star Wars Celebration in Orlando. The panel consisted of the executive producer, creative director and producer at Motive all talking about what the game will consist of. The first thing we get a glimpse into is the classes and at the same time droids are confirmed to be playable as they are showcased as one of the classes. The creative director then proceeds to add that there will be different troops such as heavy gunners, maskmen, jump troopers, infantry and so on. To me personally this makes the game even more exciting as there will finally be an element of choice and depth within the game, allowing us to choose what type of soldier we want to play. A little later into the discussion, the team reveal a screenshot of clone jump troopers on Kamino and what looks like the slave one in the background. Although Clone Wars was already technically confirmed, these early concepts just make it that much more exciting, as Clone Wars fans haven't really got anything outside of a scene of Darth Maul and Yoda about to duel. To keep adding to your excitement, the executive producer of Star Wars Battlefront confirmed that not only would space battles be a significant part of the games and multiplayer, but would also be confirmed playable in multiple eras, meaning we have the chance to play as our beloved clone pilots once more. Not only this, but all throughout the panel the producers were hinting at the prospect of customization. Although at this point, compared to the others, it is blurred, it is highly likely that we'll get to customize our favorite clones as well as choose their classes, which to me sounds like an extremely exciting prospect. In addition to this, they do confirm the release date of the game to be the 17th of November this year, which would mean Star Wars Battlefront 2 is going to be playable worldwide in a mere several months. Just before you leave, to anyone subscribed to the Battlefront base channel, videos will be relatively slow until we get some sort of live gameplay. For now, hold tight and get all the upcoming news on this channel until we get a beta or the game releases. Anyways guys, don't forget to check out my Instagram in the description below as well as subscribing to the new channel. As always guys, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to tell me in the comments what you guys want from this game. For me personally, I'm now going to be 100% buying this game, as they have confirmed everything I wanted out of Star Wars Battlefront 2. I know it's not the same for all of you, but if you are skeptical, tell me why in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.